Greetings, citizens! Just a guy has arrived with more of Dream Daddy. And we have just been asked by the mysterious Mademoiselle Mary if we want to buy her a drink. No. Should we? I actually don't remember if we were asked or if we're just thinking of that on her own. And since we can't check, I'm just going to assume we were. I don't remember anymore. I apologize, citizens. Anyway, I've put this off too long. But she looks drunk already. I'm going to not buy her a drink. Uh, maybe some other time? Ugh. Suit yourself, sailor. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar preacher to enter. I happily watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. A little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player of the game scores a certain number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man across the bar. Go team! You cat-loving sicko. He sits alone. Ooh, what a suave-looking fellow. Brooding over a beer and keeping an eye on the game. Enjoying the game. I am now that we are winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. You cat-loving sicko! But I respect your opinion. I have to disagree with that based on upon our win-loss record. I'd say that my team is superior. Well, that's where you're wrong, since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. Ooh, that's a bad word. I'm sorry I said that, citizens. Oh, my. The conversation. It was a pun. We we're talking about cats and dogs. It's okay to say it. The converse. That's the only reason that it's like the, I, I'm bleeping that out. Fuck me. <sighs> the conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close both sides playing their hardest to win but in the end my team prevails quiet tears ripple throughout the bar i raise a respectful glass at the man drinking a whiskey he raises his in response to unspoken unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love of for the game he motions to the bartender who pours two glasses of a whiskey the man slides on over to me the name's Robert. Nice to meet you, Robert. Thanks, I'm Justin. Hey. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you? Yeah, that happened. Robert chuckles. Huh. She's a peach. Well, he picked the best bar in town. Slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? Uh. No, that'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Oh, okay. Mm. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. Mm. You like shots? <laughs> um, I like shots. Thank you. Robert Nelson Neal serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands one to me. Oh. Here's to your health. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Oh. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. <gasps> Cute. Okay, Justin, this guy's out of my friend league. But I think if I place my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. <laughs> I didn't even notice the freaking hand tattoo. I can't do that. Uh, compliment his rugged good looks. That seems like the way to go. You're fit. Wow, freaking hell, Justin. What the hell is that, man? I mean... Uh, okay, to be fair, you look like a freaking Archie character, so I mean, I can understand, but, you know. <laughs> freaking show Joe <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you look at this guy, <laughs> Jesus. Your, your face is good. Yes. Good face that you have. Good. It is face mm-hmm thumbs up mr robert yes oh 
First time that's happened. Okay. Thanks. Wait, I think this is what flirting is. Man, this guy is mysterious and cool. I... Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? Uh... Is it too soon to say that? Well, let's, let's be honest. My daughter kicked me out of the house. Not like forever. She was having a sleepover with her friends. Family type, huh? Single dad. Hmm. He gets up. Be right back. Gotta powder my nose. Huh. Interesting. Are we making some progress? Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Ha. I guess so. <laughs> you think? You think? You think I got a chance? Gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, <laughs> then I, I really must be. <laughs> oh, but I'm so cool! <laughs> Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. Uh, huh? Wait a minute. This isn't going where I. I'm gonna go home. You're heading my way. Right, I guess we're just walking home together. That's normal. Or is it first date normal? Hmm, maybe we'll find out. So Robert and I leave the bar, find ourselves walking the same direction. So. I live in the... Convenient! I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live there? Me too, we just finished unpacking today. Hey. Great place to be, good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns mm. to me. I don't kiss and tell, Justin. Hmm. So are we doing this? Oh, shit! What? Hey. You know, you want to come inside or not? A wave of realization comes over me. I blush. Mm. Okay, let's see if you can be smooth, Justin. I'm curious about this. Well, I don't see why not. That sounded smoother in my head. Let's do it. Oh, is this happening? Follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door. Oh, it's happening! It is happening! The moment... Shit, we've only been here a day and this is already happening? God damn! We should thank our... Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm ruining the moment. <clears throat> I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me up against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. Come on. Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs and into what I assume is his bedroom. But it's so dark that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. He kisses me again and again, and I can hear him shucking off his jacket. That is a word you use for corn, but okay. I clumsily take off mine too. His hands rope down my chest and suddenly he's tugging at my belt. I, 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 uh, I don't normally do this. Do you want to stop? Do we want to stop? This is a difficult decision. Hmm. Shit, I didn't think we'd be getting this far with somebody this fast. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we literally just moved here. We don't know shit about this guy. I mean... Uh, am I thinking too much about this? Uh, I, I want to just... I, I want to play it safe, but I mean... Do we want to be adventurous? Uh, mm. I've been really impressed with this game. and Now I'm really... I'm unsure of what to do. Ah! My, my heart goes pitter-patter as I wonder. Do I stay? Where do I go? What should I do? I think back to the time when I threw that tennis ball at the police station. Just like that, I wondered, should I or shouldn't I? And just like then, my answer if the people demand it, actually, I should probably get... Oh, shit! I picked the wrong 
again! Oops! Robert steps back. Alright. I think I'm gonna head home. I'm sorry. Nah, it's cool. <laughs> fuck! I head home. My head's... Fuck. Okay! Oh shit, I have... Oh, fuck. I head home. My head's still spinning with anxiety of Robert turning Robert down. By accident, as it happens, the sight of the couch helps me compartmentalize, though. Before I know it, I'm having dreams about my teeth falling out, which I have dreams like that, too, and they are freaking horrible. Oh my god, I hate those. Hey, citizens, comment below if you have freaking horrible nightmares about your freaking teeth falling out, because they suck. Please remember, brush and floss every day. You do not want that shit to happen. I, I mean, I don't, which is why I do that, but, you know, do that, and if you have those freaking dreams, please tell me. I don't, I, I, I don't, I mean, if this, if they're writing about it, clearly I'm not crazy, and not the only person that has these freaking dreams. So, you know, I'm sorry, I'm just, I, I just, that's just, like, why is this popping out at me? I mean, I had one the other fucking night. If you, if you, like it, con why am I saying that shit? Because I'm talking about commenting, you know? Anyway, if you please, you know, let me know if I'm not crazy. I'm sure right now you think I'm crazy that we went from a sex team to, to talking about fucking teeth falling out. I mean, dude, why are you doing that? I guess if it helps... Apparently, this is what he said. Hey, oh, geez, I'm sorry. Wow. Oh, is it hot in here? Is it hot in here? <laughs> is it hot in here? Or is it just me? Anyway, let's go meet the Emmas. Oh. Or not. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Rise and shine, early bird. I still want to work. Oh, rise and shine, early bird. Still want to work out. This is Craig, by the way. Huh. <laughs> Up. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m.? Who does si I do 6 a.m.? Fuck you. Without realizing it, I would drift back to sleep. Whoops, must have winked back out. I checked my phone again. Hey, bud. Still want to get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out. But it is Craig. I do want to catch up. Go to the gym. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, my man, I need a few minutes to wake up. Uh, let's meet in 20. I hope I can get Robert out of my mind. After a few seconds, another text comes in. Sure thing, bro. Meet me at the gym. I stretch and my bones creak. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. Throw off my blanket and... Hey, wait. I don't remember falling asleep with the blanket. Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth, throw on the only clothes I own that are even kind of gym appropriate, and head on out. The neighborhood is quiet and serene this early in the morning. Birds chirp and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Craig, yo, standing out front, stretching, of course, of course. He spots me and waves, yo, enthusiastically. Oh. Hey, bro, morning. Hey, good to see you, man. I'm definitely not as pumped as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee. You, this game really, 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 really is pushing this freaking coffee agenda here. I am on to you. Mm -hmm. You ready to kick some butt? With your help, I am. I get the feeling this is gonna be the death of me kicking butt and more of the gym kicking my butt. But I can handle it. Do you hear? Dude, bro. That means a lot. Hey. Now, am I, is it gonna be that the hearts mean we do it right after? Because that's a little fast for me. Like, is that how this game works? Well, well we're about to find out, I guess. We headed, me we headed to the gym, and I'm immediately, immediately intimidated. All of these people look like they could break me in half. And it seems like Craig is friends with all of them. Oh. He high fives. Yo, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Oh, dude, bro, nice to see you. Hey, I love what you're doing with yourself, girl. And finger guns. Yo, how's it going? Gnarly. Totally loving it. Finger guns, all the cool jocks in the room. They look like they could and would steal my lunch money to spend on protein shakes. Nice. 
Come on, bud, let's warm up. We head over to the treadmills and start walking. Okay, I can walk. Walking is good. This is a decent place to be. Walking. So, I know we are on nice. treadmills. Yeah. And those over there are ellipticals. Oh. Very good. What is all of this other stuff, though? That, I don't know. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, you're hilarious. Bro. They might look a little scary, but I guarantee that all of them serve a specific purpose for building muscle mass. And we, bro, are going to build you up. I, w I watched a dude in a muscle tee flex the muscle I didn't know existed on a machine that I think was once used to process grain into flour. What is that? Why is a guy doing that to himself? Oh. That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? He's uh, tra training to crush people's skulls with his thighs. He's training to make his thighs so strong that he could crush people's skulls hey. with them. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I work out. Hmm. Oh no, Craig is turning up the speed. I better just say, whoa, whoa, I, I, that was a good thing. Okay, so he's a thigh guy. How, uh, how long have you been doing this buff thing? Oh. Couple years. And what do you do when you're not dadding or working or buffing? Oh. oh, I coach my twin softball team. It's gnarly. That is actually dadding and buffing. You know how, you know, you've got the dad and the buff. This would fall in the middle of both. There for it is the buffing, you know, not debuffing. Don't be confused, it's dad buffing. Very, very similar, but completely different, actually. Hmm. Oh, I keep busy. What do you do for fun? <laughs> I love learning. I try to educate myself about the world around me. I'm like a sponge for knowledge, soaking up all that intellectual content. You know, history, the paranormal, wilderness survival, aliens, mostly those things. So you watch the History Channel too, huh? <laughs> nice. Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, that was, that was a good answer! We're jogging now. Oh god. Oh god. We're jogging so much. Oh my god. We're going so fast. Oh my god. I'm, I'm gonna- I'm gonna raise the speed. Oh my god. I go over to Craig, who hasn't even broken a sweat. How is he doing this so effortlessly? I'm dying. I'm literally feel my life force draining through every orifice of my body. How can he do this? Hmm. Hey, bro. Remember when my fish died in college? <laughs> no, I don't like the story. Why are you telling me the story when I'm literally dying? Am I, am I going to be your fish? Is that... Dude, not cool, man. <laughs> What is he doing? He's trying to kill me. I don't want to be the fish anymore. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. Mm -hmm. uh, we were at that party and you vowed to make me feel better. You did. You did. You tell me to create a distraction. And so, of course, I do a sick keg stand and get everyone cheering. And then I <laughs> try to steal a fish tank at the party with my bare <laughs> hands. And then you drop the fish and it's flopping around and you panic. So you run up to me post keg stand with a dying dirty fish in your hands that gets scooped up off of the ground and you're yelling at me that we have to leave. Hey. So we're running out of the frat party with a fish and trying to give it mouth to mouth resuscitation and we get a home into a bowl of water. But the prognosis of my brother, it was grim. And the next day, he's alive. Next day, oh my God, dude, can we stop? Jesus Christ! The next day, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive and well. Next day. Hey. They never did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Ridge. They never. Well, I shoot off the end of the treadmill and crash into the wall. Jesus, that hurts. Dude, dude, bro, are you okay? Well, citizens. 
I don't know. Is Justin okay? We'll have to find out next time on Dream Daddy Simulator. But until then, I'm afraid that this is fair.